Omar El Jazeera, one of the uh, biggest fencing events ever, certainly held here at the Air Force Academy, the Western Invitational, this past weekend. I know you had one during the COVID last year and then this year. Wow, what an event. Talk to me about it. Oh, thanks, Brian. Uh, it was a great event for us. I was just going to correct. It wasn't the biggest event ever. It was the biggest event that, it's the biggest NCAA duels that USAF have ever hosted and also the, uh, the West region have ever hosted. So it went great uh smooth and uh we came through so i am very very excited and proud of what we've done yeah talk to me about the venue uh cleared out the indoor tennis courts put put all of the strips down in there and to me it looked like it looked like it was built for fencing yeah it, uh, we were very thankful we are very thankful for the tennis staff just to allow us to use the facility uh, we, we successfully were able to fit in 20 strips and that's a big number of strips. However, we could even fit more, but we didn't need to. And uh, just overall, that facility was great uh, for us. We highlighted what we wanted to do, how all the teams competed. And I got a lot of good feedbacks from the other coaches or the visiting coach uh, teams uh, expressing the, uh, the gratitude for how successful the event was and how we ran it. So I'm very proud of this. Your teams, uh, I think the seniors really stepped up and it was it was senior day on the second day on Sunday. Just talk to me about how your teams performed. Uh, so the seniors came through, all of them. It was very, very good uh, performance all across. We have in the team six seniors. However, one of our seniors was in a semester, ab uh, uh, semester abroad, uh, Aaron Mayfield, so he, wasn't in, he, didn't, he did not compete with us this weekend. But the uh, rest of the senior, Nessa Levin, Aaron Shea, Zach Young, Chip Maurer, and Will, uh, Will Nicolai, the, the five of them competed and performed really well. And top two of that get honored and uh, uh, get honored with the uh, superintendent and our director of uh, athletic needs. Uh, yeah, that was a special event, and I know people saw it on the, on the live stream. But uh, just talk to me what it's like to be able to recognize your seniors for the time they put in and developed your program. Uh, I will say it's a special moment. You've seen what I did. I suited up, and I, I was very excited. Those guys have been uh, working very hard. They put in the work throughout four years, and uh, that was their moment. I felt that I need to dress up for those guys. I need to honor them. So personally, it was a special moment for me, but I'm sure it meant a lot uh, for them to have the superintendent and the director of athletic coming down and honoring them. So very, very happy that we were successfully and successful to offer them this. So, yeah. And I think um, three of those seniors for sure got, got the most wins. I think Aaron Shea had 17. We looked it up. <laughs> Nikolai had 16, Nestor had 17. Talk to me a little about their performances. Well, uh, the three are uh, strong, very, very strong fencers. The three of them qualified to NCAA championship last year. Nestor, as we know, he, uh, he made the second team All-American and well qualified and performed really well last year. And uh, Erin, uh, unfortunately, was uh, under the weather, so she didn't compete. But that speaks a lot of this class. They are a very, very good class, a very strong class. Yeah, for sure. So Western Invitational, I feel like you've set yourself up that the NCAA is going to say uh, it needs to be at Air Force every year. How, how are you feeling about that? I feel very, very good. I already received some requests from teams that didn't uh, participate this time. They are interested to come and compete next year. So it seems that the, the event went very successfully. I'm, I'm not sure what other people say, but from what I've seen, we were very professional. We were very strong. And uh, we, we demonstrate what we're capable of. Yeah. What's next for your team? What's coming up? Next is Ohio State. That will be the 4th and the 5th of December. And uh, I, I know that we're very ready. And that weekend showed uh, our cadets that they are, has been working hard, have been working hard, and they are very ready to conquer the next one for us. All right. Just keep moving along. Omar El Jazeera, thank you for the time. Appreciate it. Thank you, Brian. Go Falcons.